everybody, Son of Feast and Wood Spurney are here. Welcome to the second game of the of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. This next matchup, as we're about to be seeing, the next matchup in between. It's the Indiana Pacers going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Now let's talk about this one here. Yeah, they've been playing in here since 2019, and this was the last part of the game that they have been doing it. But LeBron James, and however, this one turns to be all for great courtesy to do all of his tricks, the most intentional speed does it all for it at a one time ability. Keeping it all the range in between the range here, it stops things off here really quick and does it all with his better performance effort and does it all for once. Now this matchup can be a little difficulty because Indiana Pacers never been into the playoffs that far and we've seen what can they do if they can get this one done. Well as for Pascal Siakam, he's ready to take on against Donovan Mitchell on the other team. Let's have your starting lineups. Tyrese Halliburton, Andrew Nembhard, Aaron Nesmith, Pascal Siakam, and Miles Turner. And on the other side for the Cavaliers, we have Estarian Scalding, Donovan Mitchell, Mark Struz, Evan Robine on Jared Allen. Let's head you down over to Rocky Morgan's Fieldhouse standing by is Kevin Erlin along with the crew and David Aldrich will be the sideline reporter here for the second game at Cleveland. We'll see you later for the post game show and coming up will be Ernie Johnson, Kenny Jack Smith and Chuck O'Neill. Let's get started. Game 2 starts now. <laughs> 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. It will all take place in Cleveland, Ohio at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. The Pacers taking on the Cavaliers. For the Pacers, presently sixth in the East, sitting in that second tier of playoff teams. But plenty of confidence in that locker room right now. Yeah, Pacers up next. And a good Thursday evening to you. 2K Sports presents the NBA. Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Harlan. With me, Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And as always, the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, joining us from the sidelines. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. We've got Halliburton. Siakam is out there with Turner. Then it's Neesmith. And it's Nemhard in a two-guard. And for the Cavaliers. And there are two big men out there, Mobley and Allen. At the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. And it's Cruz in at the small forward. Believe it or not, the regular season is almost over. Great for teams that are out of the playoff picture. What's important now? Well, I, I think, Kevin, first you need to self-evaluate. You know, check out your roster. Who do you keep? Who do you let go? And then once you figure that out, you start thinking about which guys to bring in. Now here's Turner. Halliburton outside. Here's Siakam. And too long on the shot. Halliburton against Garland. On the wing, Mitchell. Second chance shot, and it's sent back by Turner. Halliburton on the wing, guarded by Garland. Here's Neesmith, back to Turner, over Allen. Miles Turner. By Turner. Yeah. Turner's yeah. got the opening field goal yeah. yeah. for yeah. Indiana. And mid-range, a, a little outside Turner's comfort zone, but he gets it to go with focus on that one. Now, here's Mobley. Garland, the pass to Mobley. The Cavaliers again can't hit. First quarter just over a minute played. And that one was really foul. foul. Yeah, so Number four, four and Mobley. That one on this first quarter's foul. foul. Is his confidence can the line for Indiana. And Kevin yes, is when it comes to scoring. He understands how valuable he is to his team and how much they lean on him to step up on that end.
Uh, the first free throw is good. A uh, big man who can score, rebound, and pass. This is why Siakam has become a huge piece of this team. Siakam hits them both. Here is something great from Pacers history. They were a dynasty at one point, and you remember it well. Yeah, you're talking about the ABA days, but it's true. The, the Pacers were a dominant team before the merger. They won three. There he is! Go ahead! And this is the energy that Gordon brings, the type of teammate that's willing to go after that offensive glass and get dirty. Here's Nemard, covered by Mitchell. Here's Siakam. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss here. Yeah, a tough game on the road. Jury! The foul Obviously comfortable shooting. Right, Max Strews. Got to find a way to break their rhythm. Well, they weren't fighting through screens. Their closeouts and rotations were like, you name it, and let's just say they didn't do it on defense. Here's Neesmith. Jared Allen making his last shot. There he is. Poor design there defensively. They know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. See, this is what analytics don't take into account. Some guys. Darren! Allen! It's actually coming. Is it from Darius Garland? In the use of that reach. Allen able to pluck the ball out of the air for that easy line. First shot by Turner, no good. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball here. Here's Mitchell. Tight defense on him. Just find the shoot. Shoots the three. 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 Shot. Mitchell! By yourself, it will make you automatic just like Mitchell. Now, oh, here's Siakam. 26 points for him last game against Brooklyn. For three. Nee Smith can't get it to go. For Indiana, they come into this one following the loss to the Nets from Brooklyn. There he is! Garland! Plays in it right to the very end. Just couldn't get over the hump. And that is why coaches preach about the details. The margins in this league are razor thin. Tyree Celebrating. And the all around game of Siakam. This by Pascal Siakam. To open guys. Garland feeling it out a little bit. Allen gets to Garland. The rebound by Turner. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Here's Neville. And he chants it in that corner. And he just bangs down the one hand. Mm, two very easy points right here. This is a distruce. It out to Allen. Pass to Mobley. Good D by Siakam. And you gotta give credit to the D for never giving up on the play and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. A shot by them hard, no good. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. There's Garland. There he is! Field. I like everything he's doing so far offensively, finding his spots, making strong selections. For three, Siakam. And it's rebounded by Cleveland. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. For three, Mitchell. The rebound by Turner. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Lee Smith, the pass to Siakam. Indiana moving it around. Halliburton for three. And the Pacers can't get it to go. The Cavaliers leading by three. Right wing. The 17-footer. No good. He's three of six from the four. 
And Siakam has got the ball here for the Pacers. Last time they met was in Indiana. And their last time playing this club, foul trouble became a big problem for them. Their starters had to take an early stint on the bench. Expect to see them being much more careful tonight because of that. Maybe being a little less aggressive. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Struz passes to Allen over Siakam. Indiana foul, number 43. The free throw. Last call, Siaka. It's first, first foul. First seed foul. Fair enough, and the free throw line. For two shots. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Cavaliers. Well, they're off to a good start getting into the game. They have been going here so far for the Cavaliers. Well, they're off to a good start getting it inside and scoring at close range. Solid fundamentals so far in this one. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with the assist numbers, spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. That free throw, no good. So, Richard with New the chance. New substitution, though, Cavaliers. The road after four number three, Harris LeBron. Two years ago, clearly. Number 20. Yeah, and that's the number 35, Icy Decor. They had to reset most of the roster, but they did a nice job of coming back with Darius Garland, Evan Miller. And Mowers, number 20, George Diaz. Watching them work. And the second free throw, good. Well, China on Indiana Pacers. A tremendous job in his time with this Cavaliers team. He has had him on the winning track since his first full season with the team. Really getting the most out of this roster. Not full of superstars, but full of guys who enjoy playing together. And you look at the Cavs trade for Jared Allen. That was a steal. Yeah, it was part of the massive four-team deal sending James Harden to Brooklyn. The Cavs got Allen giving up just a late first and second round hit. Highway lottery for an all-star. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Allen. Here's McConnell. Taking a look at Ten minutes remaining in the first period. Eight points again. Two minutes. Out to the wing. Toppin passes to Halbert. He kicks it to McDermott. Over a Coro. It's rebounded by Cleveland. It's Ice and Tonkoro! A solid passer at his position. Garris LeVert with the assist. Signing his teammates with their own. Toppin, up top. Can't hit from in close. Cleveland leading by six. Here's a Coro. A good Ice and Tonkoro! Okoro's got his second best. Here's Monroe with the assist. McDermott kicks to Halliburton. Uh, left of the wing. Now, here's Tuffin. He's Cody Tuffin. God, he's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Here's Merrill. Hopping on the board. Back to Thompson. To the wing right side. Merrill passes to Thompson. A free ball. And the free George! Here's yeah. it. Right, Justin Thompson. Open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's McConnell. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer off line. Now here's Levert. 11 points for him in that last game against the Suns and Phoenix. And you have George! Yay! Came up with three timely steals in that one as well. Walker finds Elliburton. Offensive foul on the Pacers. Tyree Zellaburi. His first personal foul. First team foul. Cleveland ball and square up. Here's Levert. Another shot and it's Tristan Thompson. Excellent all around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They got off to such a hot start and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. At the end of the first period, Cleveland Cavaliers 25. Indiana Pacers. Wow. Thanks for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And welcome back. 
Welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Cavaliers, this has been the game they wanted to have. What we saw in that first quarter, they won their matchups defensively. Making it as difficult as possible for the offense to find clean looks, great stuff. And George Gerland, who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. On the court right now for the Pacers. They've got Nee Smith. Smith is out there with Pascal Siakam and C.J. McConnell. And it's Nemhard in at the two spot. Here's Morris. And then Marcus Morris Sr. And the Cavaliers lead by 15. Pass to Smith. Now here's McConnell, guarded by Garland. Here's Siakam. Pascal Siakam. First one of the game after four straight misses. RJ, we know almost all players will talk and plead their case to the refs. How much wiggle room do you think players are allowed? Well, I think every player is different. Look, if you're a captain of the team, it doesn't have to be a veteran. You don't have to be an all-star. But every ref has a limit. That's the beautiful thing about this league. The referees are humans, too. you got to get to know them. you got to understand them and realize who you can talk to about what. Nemar, the pass to Siakam. Lock at six. Here's McConnell. They get it back. There's the pass to Siakam. Over Morris. And the ball goes out of bounds. Pacer ball. By Morris. Indiana ball. And how about we check the numbers for Donovan Mitchell? And guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season. But I don't know. He had not lost his confidence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. For a three. To get after it here tonight. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand on this. Oh, Morris in position. Marcus Morris Sr. He only came better at the end. Darius Garland with the six. Playmaker. Pass to Nemo. Over to the wing. Here's McConnell. The line by Indiana. Here's Siakam. Pascal Siakam. The best. He's now two for six. Time out. Please nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we see about him a lot. Man. Time out is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Right in terms of the Pacers' last few seasons, some have pointed to their relative lack of size. What do you think? Well, I think a big push for them this summer was adding to their front court particularly getting more size at the forward positions. And I think they've been proved in that regard. Two and a half minutes into the second quarter. There's Gerland. It's deflected. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, Dave. Play foul number four. Here we go, Mobley. A second personal foul. First team foul. Said from a young age, that was his number. Little Ivory, Indiana Pacers. Number 43. Back to the basket. That's Galciaca. Trying to find it in the close offense. Online. Produce shots. I'm getting in people's way. I just want to find my spot. Kevin? And he does it well. D.A., thank you. And he can't get the first one. And Greg, you talk about rim protection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? 
Yeah, I mean, they have the personnel to do it. The big front court and quick guards who can keep ball handlers in front of them. It's the second from the line. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Harlan gets to Allen. Now, here's Bruce. He started close. Allen passes to Bruce. Four on the shot clock. From deep. Off to a good Three. It's a 14-point game. And Oklahoma City Thunder will be in town for the next one. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Indiana again missing. And this is the type of game you just throw away as a player. He has yet to score a point and looks completely flustered. Darwin kicks to Mitchell. Let's it go with a three. Good rebound by Turner. Turner's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Neesmith. And he battles for the ball. And Gets Danny, second chance Andrew, that's bad. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. Aaron, that's no bad. box out. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work in the glass. You literally practice that every day. Mobley against Siakam. Mobley kicks to Struce. Floats one up. Indiana foul, number 39. Okay, one mile zero. That's his first personal. First team foul. And a line for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Evan Mobley. And a line for two shots. And their success rate on the season, right around 77%. The first one falls. You know, Greg, it's nice to have a big man like Mobley out on the floor with all the things he can do. And, and Kevin, you got to love his skill set for a seven foot. Really diverse hey, in terms of what he brings to the table. And then you hear so much praise for his attitude and, and his feel for the game. What a valuable player to have on your team. And both free throws, good for Mobley. As Evan Mobley's game continues to evolve and develop, Richard, he can be a real monster down low. He is something else defensively. Yeah, he's smashing this at 3 3. On the offense, he has so much room for growth. If he can learn how to dominate the paint, then he will be an unstoppable two way force. Allen dishes to Mobley. Gets that. Timing! Mobley! One for three from the top. Indiana Pacers. Coverage. Mobley already looking like a vet out there. Time call here, Indiana. Shines to try to get over. Well, it's been an express lane to the Ram. Coach can't be happy about that. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. Just a few minutes, we will have the halftime show coming up as we will be ready to see what goes in now. As for what we see, the never player that comes in bounding in between of the uh, rocking part of the Cleveland Cats and, of course, the uh, the brand of the free in Indianapolis, Indiana, of the Pacers that might be storming our way back in there and got to find another handful away if they can try to shut them down. But this is a lot of that time to get this one in there if they want to get that one done straight. So they're looking for someone else that can get there instead. We may never know what would happen. Because the time will never contribute if there's another way coming in bounds. So the halftime show is coming up right after the break. We'll see you all there in just a bit. The Cavaliers, Jean comes in from over. And it's Levert in for Donovan Mitchell. Albert is checked in for Indiana. Here's Nemo. That's good. And yeah, Albert yeah, yeah, with the assist. This is wrong. I can't remember. Nemo has got five points now this quarter. Very few official on the court. The floor is number three, Garrison Bird. And number 20, George Yang. Impressive his ceiling is as a playman. Here's Bruce. And the rejection by Jackson. 
some nice dancing here by Indiana. And that will be two free throws coming up. Number 20, Georgie A. His first was goal five. Second team shot. Sensational, a shot blocker he is. Number 23, Jordan Hill. Number 20, 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 Jordan Hill. And he makes the first. And a lot gets said about two substitutions. Two over to Devin Gavalier is number five. His and I am As well, becoming a bigger threat in that regard. Cavalier's making a switch here. Merrill's checked in. And so he hits both. And so, Levert will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. To the left wing. Niang passes to Levert. Six to shoot. Here's Mill. Pacers with the rebound. Turner's got six rebounds in the game. Halliburton kicks to Jackson. To the middle. To the right wing. Here's Nemhard. He's got seven. And the best Isaac Jackson. Jackson. Uh, this is nearby. Story. The the great great ball. They're starting to turn it around now. Levert the pass to Allen. Here's Niang. Guarded by Jackson. Two minutes remaining in the first half of the period. Two minutes. Rebounded by Jackson. Pacers trail by seven. Halliburton kicks to Jackson. Nimmar the pass to Halliburton. Off the mark there with a three-point shot. The Cavaliers leading by seven. To the paint. Here's Bruce. Second chance effort. The shot, no good. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Fires from 18. Tyrese Alligator. This is short on moves. Mm -hmm. That's got a lot of ways to attack off the dribble. Here's Levert. And another miss by Cleveland. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still missed it. And turn the kicks to Halliburton. Here's Neesmith. Jared Allen grabs the miss. Allen's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. The end of the draw. And he gets the win. Number two, Andrew Nemhard. His first personal foul. He's second foul. all over him, but he draws a foul. And a line for the Cavaliers. Here's the Levert. And a line for two. Two shots. 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 He misses the free throw. And the Cavaliers will be able to get the ball. Here's the Legion Cavaliers. Number 13 in for George. Tristan Thompson. And, and, and number 45. From Isaiah Coral. And, and number 6. Marcus Moore Sr. Toppin comes in for Jackson. And it's Doug McDermott in for Eastman. Good on the second free throw. There's 42 seconds left in the first half of the game. And here's Halliburton. In the corner, it's McDermott. Walker in the post. He's covered by Thompson. Walker's shot is off. Cleveland leading by six. Inside, Toppin with the steal. 
Good D by Thompson. Here's Merrill to the inside. Fires the three. Gets it off, and he trains the three. But let's see, they may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. And we are not. The players are review. It's a basket is made yet. for the Fisher first half of the end. We're going to review the tape. And, and even though, you know, you think that maybe we don't need to replay in a situation like this, still plenty of time left in this game. And really, it's about getting the call right. Looks like they got it right this time. The play is from Sherman, guys. No. And that's the end of the first half. Cleveland Cavaliers, 39. And Indiana Pacers, 33. We had it right all along, so good call, fellas. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers with a six point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And now let's catch up with David Aldrich, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Rick, what's your analysis of how your defense has done so far? Well, they're getting too many open looks and threes. We're lucky they're missing a few. Uh, you know, this team, they stretch out so much, you got to be really alert. you got to pay close attention to details. Rick, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2 k Sports Halftime Show. Hello basketball fans, what a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's Cleveland out on top at halftime. They have the six point lead. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? It's great to see a team going inside, challenging the defense in the paint. You don't see that mentality as often in today's game. So much is the perimeter, guys want to stay on the outside, they don't want to get sweat at them. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Indiana? They threw four offensively. Under 40%, they need to stop seven. Stay patient. We can go around and find better looks. It's hard to score in this league. You've got to work for it. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Have a basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Jared Allen with a strong contribution so far in this one. And he was an absolute monster on the offensive glass in that first half. I don't know how you slow him down. The way to limit those offensive boards is just effort, guys. Whoever is guarding him has to get to position and beat him to the spot. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. The big man on the floor for him, Mobley and Allen. At the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. And it's Bruce into the three. And that's the group for J.D. Bickerstaff as we begin the second half. Charlie Allen! With an over nine foot standing reach, Allen can go over you, around you, however you want it. And Darius Garland, no doubt a point guard on the rise. Yeah, I think this guy's future is really promising, and it's because of his strong work ethic, his desire to keep working on his game and get better. And it's denied! Out of bounds. Yeah. That's ball. It's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Mitchell. 
Timeouts here, but the back to back threes are never worth it. Oh, yeah, you could definitely say Donovan Mitchell does it. Can go for a hard one. Quick break when we come back. Line it up, ready to go. Back to you, Kevin. And now we go to the 2K leaderboard to find out which teams have had the hottest shooters since all stuff. The Pacers in fifth. No doubt their offense has really hit its stride. I mean, they're making the extra pass and not settling for that first shot that presents itself. And you see that. Defense! Defense! And there's the pass to Emma. To the right side. To stop the run. Aaron Nesmith for three. He's got ten. You, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Here's Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell! Every time the ball comes inside. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Pacers. Trailing by 13. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, Kevin. The Pacers are a team on the rise in Tyrese Halliburton. Aaron Nesbitt. One of the favorite parts about the way we're building the culture here is it's not just showing up for a game and that's it. Watch games, text about games, talk about games when we get to the arena. I just want to be around guys who love basketball and want to be great. Kevin? Isn't that special, David? Hey, thanks for that report. Turner against Drews. Let's it go from 11. Miles Turner. A friendly spin and that one drops. Turner's got to back down to single digits for the Pacers. Bounce pass from Garland. Mobley finds Garland. Driving in. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Looking to get it going. There it is! Garland! Time out! Indiana Pacers! Time called here, Indiana. Donovan Mitchell. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by. Sour Patch Kids. Sweet, sour, gone. Adidas. And by AT&T. Connecting changes everything with fast, reliable, and secure. Into the action here. Just a 51 40 score with 513 left to go. Stick around for the next game in the Western Conference as we will about to be seeing this next matchup of the Clippers versus the Mavericks. Fourth versus the fifth seed. And then the Thunders are ready to take on against the Pelicans at OKC at Paycom Center. There will be great matchups in between for the first guy, and then we will get to the second guy right in between. Let's go back to Kevin, Kevin and the crew. All for you. The Pacers making a search here. McConnell's checked in. I'm going to check, check out the seating out east. Four games left on the schedule here. Taking a look at Cleveland. Unless they completely melt down, they should be in good position for a playoff run. And of course, Indiana, three spots below. And right now for the Pacers, so much has gone right for them this season. They needed some breaks to go their way, and it feels like they've gotten them all. Now they're poised for success in the playoffs. Well, they've created... Oh, my Diamond! Mitchell! He's had that move saved up for a minute. You can tell with that smile on his face. Mitchell making the most of that opportunity. Awesome display of athleticism captured by our AT&T 5G Slam King. Siakam finds McConnell. Halliburton passes to turn. Excellent D there from Allen. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not a big thing. And his lackluster accuracy is probably the thing that's keeping them behind. The try by Mitchell. And it's Allen. Jared Allen! The double double. Donovan Mitchell with the assist. 
easy for the big man Allen to get up and throw it down. Left side, Turner. Out to the right wing. Now, here's Neesmith. He's got 12. Halliburton for three. Rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. Well, they did better. They put it on the glass today, and there's a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. And it goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. Turner. Cavs ball. Not test Turner. And Miles has led the NBA as long as he's on the court. Board of the Cleveland Cavaliers. George number 20, George, George Gaines. Oh, and oh, number 35, oh, Isaac Okoro. Here's Garland. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Hey, Finish the possession on deep. Seal him off or ever look. This man's going to punish you on that glass. Outside Turner. Passes it to Halbert. To halt the run. Tyrese Halbert in for a Halbert's three. Halbert's got seven points in the game. How oh, something's growing, guys. The three pointers just continue to flow. Mitchell with it. Picked up by Turner. And has a foul. Number 33, Miles Turner. That is second personal foul. First team foul. At a line for the Cavaliers. Donovan Mitchell. At a line shooting two. But he is still undersized for the position. But that front court, man, that defense helps him out a lot. He's gone for 70 plus in a game. That is special. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Number 13, Tristan Thompson. For Evan Mobley. And number Chris three, Karis LeBurk. Garland. Indiana also making some changes. Walker comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Doug McDermott in for Neesmith. Good on both. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. DJ McConnell. He's good now, so it takes a lot to bother him at the rim like that. The Cavaliers leading by 14. Lovert with it. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points. Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. Alberton looking around. Turner against Thompson. Alberton passes to McDermott. Six on the shot clock. Eleven feet away, and again it's in the end. It works well there. Time off. Resistance from the Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Time off call. Cleveland. This one's getting a little bit, kind of a little tricky on this matchup, but they really are trying to work this way off, but they may not be able to get this one at time. You may not know what it's going to be because this one is going to keep on coming down if they don't get anything right behind. This might be a hard one, but they're trying to keep it over it if they can't push their pace off more. However, this may not be the only day, but you may never know what goes up next. Well, it's really a hard way that they do this, but you never have to worry about that one again, because if that happens more constantly, he might have to get over, uh, over with the feeling behind it, and then just have to get over this for the next stepper. It's along with the hard one to type, but not even the hard rush to recognize that. It's a hard one to keep that one going over. But for the next game, we will take you over to you know the call. It's for the OKC Thunders against the Pelicans instead of LA because that'll be the last game for the fourth first and fifth seed. So we're gonna change that one up a little bit. Yeah, definitely a good idea. Let's go back down to Cleveland to Kevin. 
as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court right now for the Pacers, Siakam is up there with Obi Toppin. Then it's Neesmith, it's C.J. McConnell, and it's Nemhard again at the shooting guard. Here's Toppin, trains it for Obi Toppin out. That's just the guard. That's all Siakam. The Cavaliers leading by 11. Outside Garland. Passes to Struz. Over to the left wing. Top of the game, Smobley. Now I'm trying to break free. Evan! Smobley! And the Cavaliers lead by 13. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside of the tank. Okay, that's an area they have completely dominated. Top of the game, get it to go. 
Jones from 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Screws against McConnell. And it's Screws missing. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Toppin kicks to McConnell. Back to Toppin. Pass to McConnell from the arc. It's good. DJ McConnell for three. Okay, we may have an injury here. Timeout on the floor. Look good. And boy, this really doesn't look good. That's just the way it happened. And you know it's serious if he's heading to the locker room. It takes a lot to get him out of any game. Morris is checked in for the New Cavaliers. replacement here for Max Struess, number six, Marcus Morris Sr. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. At the elbow, it's Allen. There's the dish to Garland. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. Three! Off an assist for Bill Mitchell. Mitchell's got 19 points. Pass to McConnell. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Shot on the wing. And Let's go, Siaka. It was cut down to 10 on the bucket from Siaka. And Siakam always has options in the mid-range. He's a talented shooter who can make that shot. In the corner, it's Morris. On the Three buckets for a senior. Pacers trail by 13. Here's Neesmith. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And George Garland, who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. Marcus Morris Sr. And you see the body control. Morris taking the hit there, but still able to complete the play. To the middle. Siaka misses. The Cavaliers leading by 15. Unloads from 13. Darius Goblin. And a nice spark for their offense here in the second half. Now above 50% for the end. Will it go? The pass to Toppin. It's deflected. Siakam passes to Toppin. Shot clock at six. Neesmith. And the Pacers can't get it to go. The Cavaliers have gone five of six in the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Harland is doubled at DeMorris. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Toppin pulls it in. Pacers trail by 17. McConnell kicks to Toppin. Here's Siaka. And all the Wheeler and foul. Number 31, Jared Allen. He's first person to foul. Here's Steve Goff. You see the impact of the Shooter in the end of Pacers. That's Gal Siaka. Out of line for two shots. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Cleveland. Uh, they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. And we also got to highlight how lackluster the opposition has been in terms of boxing out. This team is flat out bullying them on the offensive glass. First free throw is good. Okoro's checked in for Marcus Morris. New substitution on the board, number 35, Isaac Okoro. Halliburton subbed in for T.J. McConnell. He hits both from the strut. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Outside Garland. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got his fifth rebound in this one. Smith finds Halliburton. Siakam the bounce pass. Nemhard, covered by Mitchell. A shot by Nemhard, no good. The Cavaliers leading by 15. And Shane! Darius Garland with the assist. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. Passes it to Halbert. Here's Nemhard. Smith the pass to Nemhard. 
Here's Siakam. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And they Donovan Mitchell! There he is, scoring with the assist. Pacers trail by 19. And here is Neesmith. Shoots over a Coro. And, 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 and it rolls in for him. And he's doing everything he can offensively to lift them out of this hole. But I'm not sure his hot shooting can do it alone. Garland, that's for two. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Halbert. Now, here's Neesmith. That's it. Aaron Neesmith. Now in the game. Assisted by Irene Fire Celebrant. The Cavaliers leading by 15. Here's Garland. Pass to Mobley. Kicks it out to Mitchell. They get it back. Moves back up and then he had a foul number zero. Tyree Snellenberg misses. It's a guilty like shooting two. First team foul. We have seen Allen look more. And a line for the Cavaliers. Switch. Sharon Allen. And a line for two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, players certainly have become comfortable, but it has been portrayed as it become too well, commonplace. Uh, it doesn't happen too much in general. I just think a lot of times it's the stars, and so it becomes a lot bigger. So if we're going to say players, make sure we point out the stars. But loyalty is a two-way street. I remember Blake Griffin signing a five-year contract. Timeout, Indiana Pacers. You know he was traded. A pure five. Jared Allen isn't trying to shoot a bunch of threes. He bangs down low. He rebounds, protects the paint. He is a rare one. Time call here in the end. He's trying to talk it over. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid. And they're giving up a ton of second chance points. Time to present your New Balance player of the game. Kevin, who do you have? And now, the moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Donovan Mitchell. Sensational game for him in terms of shooting, efficiency. He's taken nothing but high percentage shots. That's how he's managed to hit over 60% from the field. I mean, making just about everything he's looked at. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be looking to stay in big form as long as he can. Pacers trail by 17. Here's Hellebert. A shot, no good. Good D by Mobley. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. Two minutes remaining in the full quarter period. Two minutes. Garland is double. Allen left side. That's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Memar, the pass to Siakam. Three pointer. And the That's foul Siakam. Siakam is at seven now in this quarter. <laughs> yeah, you've got to get out on that. Siakam demonstrating that ability to hurt you from beyond. Locked up there for Allen. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley -oop. Here's Hellebert. Right wing. For the three, it's rebounded by Cleveland. Yeah, it's close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Outside Garland, back to Allen. 13 feet away. Can't get it to go now, 6 or 12 from the floor. And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double victory for the Cavaliers. 
when you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooting. Exactly, Kevin. They were lethal for me. And on the year now, tonight's in pending victory. Three! Ice it! Uh, Jared Allen. He came up with a bucket every time they needed him to. Great effort on offense, and he was a difference maker. Shots good. Miles Turner putting on the hard hat there. Give Turner credit for staying locked in on capitalizing no matter what. And Cleveland can just let the clock run down here. Halliburton against Garland. who is standing by courtside, David. Thanks, Kevin. Tristan, congrats on the win. What was what was Coach's focus going into the game tonight? Uh, Coach got after us, told us that, you know, we got to play defense. This can't come here and um, you know, make a score up until we got to play defense and get back. Huh? Well, it looks like you listened to him. Thanks, Tristan. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. See you later. All right, Kevin, thank you very much. Oh, what a big night here to start for Cleveland Town as they've been rocking it in game one. They've already been competing against the Indiana Pacers. They've already been made that one with a great stoppage of the way. Yeah, it's always a brutal, and i got to say this. They've been doing a lot of hard on the walking granite runs right in between. Let's have a look and see how they did. 48% for the field goals for the Cleveland Cavaliers, and it was only 32 over 47 with eight three-pointers remaining. Then three throws was only 80% here for the Cleveland Cavaliers. 16, 50, 25, 33, 23, 20, and 31. That was all for everything for the Cleveland Cavaliers have done. Only two steals for Indiana Pacers and only five blocks have remained. And it was only two turnovers, 14 fouls, eight dunks, 19, 16, 38 time possession. They have been smoking it up from here. Yeah, and I might gotta say that now. I think Indiana Pacers already have a difficult timing. They did not think they were ready to start things off in the first game because that one got pretty, pretty rough on a carry-on. And they may not be able to get that one in there if they can. So we'll have to find out if they can get there through enough to have that one bracket out from here. Well, in all that cases is, we have to see what goes in if there's another changing right between here. And now let's get right in to the three star players of the game. All for you. All right, thank you very much. The third star player of the game starts things off here as they give it over to 15 of Jared Allen. With 15 points, 14 rebounds, two assists, only got three dunks when remind. Only 12 performances of the effort, 6 out of 12 field goals. He just got a killer to make that one go in between. Now for the number two star, as I will give that one over and never look on the other hand, for the Indiana Pacers. As I get this thing for another next star career, Aaron Nesmith with 16 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist in the block and mine. 7 out of 13 field goals, then it was 2 three-pointers. And 18 performances has put up a great effort right in between from here. They never know how they can slow it down or anybody can definitely just try to keep on going if they have it down. I'm your first star player for a New Balance player of the game. You all call for this. DM for Mitchell has 21 points, 2 assists, 4 rebounds, and 14 field goals, 3 3 points, 25 performance effort, and 1 don't quest for 9 just to be out there. Fly Mitchell, he's ready for a town to go back into the second round. All right, thank you so much to Wood Spoonie. And it's been a great one to say that Max Struess unable to complete 
the uh, the game changing as right now he finishes off with the season with a left knee injury. He only had that one with three points, just that, and one rebound to four assists. Well, that's all you can count on. Take all the credit here, you can get it all to a great credit. And that's it, folks. Uh, first game has already been complete here for the first game and the second game here in the Eastern Conference. We'll see you down at the Western Conference on the other side once we switch everything up. We'll see you all later on the other side for our next guy of the Fungus taking on the Pelicans at OKC. Be sure to subscribe to my channel where you'll have tons of more videos coming up right in between of the Eastern Conference of the Playoffs and the Western Conference of the Playoffs of the NBA and the Stanley Cup Playoffs in between. It's going to be one of a fun matchup. You'll never know what's going to be. Let's keep that on sight. Keep that one going. Peace out, folks, for a while. as the NBA 2K24 Playoff Dial. This is Son of Beast on Woodsbury. We'll see you all later for the third game. See you guys next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.